so again i anjum bhati nirban welcomes you to join the class of english literature as you all know in our previous class we have already read chapter number 9 the name of this chapter is the recycling wrap okay now it's time to do question answers along with word meanings let's get started first is very first word mean, meaning is reclamation the meaning of this is the process of obtaining materials from waste products okay and so that they can be reused that is also known as recycling okay everyone next is clap trap which means insincere or stupid talk number 3 is skip which means a large container for holding rubbish number 4 is chunk away which means throw away solid pieces broken off something number 5 is pushy footing which means being anxious about expressing one's opinion anxious here meaning is worried okay everyone so here we have completed word meanings let's do question answers very first question is what is the speaker asking the children to do speaker here is the writer the speaker is asking the children to save the planet for future generation by beginning to recycle now here the speaker is worried about the earth worried about future and she is asking to the children that please try to recycle all the things and please try to save the planet or future generation by beginning to recycle question number 2 is what in his opinion have the children been doing till now in the speaker speaker's opinion till now the children have been busy sitting on the fence pushy putting and clap trapping now here the speaker gave the opinion don't think about what the people uh, people are talking about you don't don't came in the trap of uh, uh, insincere or stupid talk okay so you just concentrate on recycling that was the opinion by the speaker to the children question number 3 is name any three things that the speaker wants the children to collect any three things okay there is answer the speaker wants the children to collect old newspaper old glass bottles and empty drink cans okay there this is also mentioned in our chapter our poem that was newspaper old glass bottles and empty drink cans question number 4 is what does the speaker want the children to do and sorry to do with old newspaper what does she want it uh, from the children that, that what they need to do with the newspaper so the speaker wants the children to save old newspaper and tie them in a bundle and put them in a skip here the meaning of skip we have already read that skip meaning is a large container for holding rubbish question number 5 is how does the speaker want the empty drink can to be disposed of okay to collect them the speaker wants this empty cans to be washed squished squeezed and made flat and thin he wants he or she wants the children to take them to the save a can it is a kind of thing in which we can save the cans and post them in it okay question number 6 is explain the meaning of stop sitting on the fence here speaker use stop sitting on fence for the children so we have to explain over here the meaning of this so the meaning is uh, stop sitting on the fence is it means stop sitting idly means khali mat baitho and passing the time chattering away chattering means kisi se baat karna bas instead do something meaningful to save the planet instead of all these things what kind of things sitting idly and passing the time chattering away so what you need to do you need to do uh, to do something meaningful to save the planet apne planet ko save karne ke liye kuch acha work karo and next question is read these lines and answer the questions with reference to the context so very first line from the chapter is save all your old glass bottles and your jam jars too who is your being referred to your iske liye use hua hai your is being referred to the children children ke bare mein baat hui hai yahan par what does the speaker want them to do with the saved glass bottles 
so the speaker wants the children to take the saved old glass bottles to the bottle tank and then the factory where the glass can be recycled saving energy when the student started uh, will start to save the old glass bottles so it will use in the factory and factory can be used it as a energy saving energy it will use as a saving energy okay question number 3 is how does the speaker think energy can be saved so the speaker thinks energy can be saved by taking the bottles to the factories that can be recycled waste manually and which don't use machines that run on energy okay due uh, through the bottles they can use as a energy okay as energy in the factories question number 2 you have got to start recycling you know it make it makes sense so the question related to this line is why does the speaker think it is necessary to recycle speaker aisa kyu sochte hai ki bahut zaruri hai recycle karna so the speaker thinks it is necessary to recycling to save the planet to save our earth for future generation number b is what other words has be used for recycling so we have already learned the second word of recycling is reclamation okay number 3 is and last question is why do you why do you think the speaker repeats the sentence you have got to start recycling hame aisa kyun lagta hai ki speaker ne aur aisa kyun speaker ne kiya ki sentence ko bar bar repeat kiya with sentence you have got to start recycling the speaker repeat sentence you have got to start recycling to lay emphasis on the need of the earth recycling yani unhone focus dala hai is word ke upar ki hame kitna dhyan dena chahiye kiske upar recycling ke upar jo jo hamare paas waste material hai we can use them we can reuse them and we can save our earth for the future generation so here we have completed question answers let's do book exercise so there is a book exercise related to tense and the tenses are present perfect continuous tense past perfect continuous tense and future perfect continuous tense overall we will get to know about perfect continuous tense okay students so without further delay let's get started read these sentences monica has been cleaning her room for an hour i have been tra traveling since april the highlighted verbs are in present perfect continuous tense means so jo highlighted verbs hai wo kisko show kar rahi hai kise indicate kar rahi hai present perfect continuous tense now you can see over here present perfect what we use for the formula has have plus verbs third form okay but there we need to change something because it is already present perfect continuous tense so that will use has have plus been plus verb first form plus ing because it is continuous also as i i have already told you that if we talk about any continuous tense so we need to apply over there b plus ing form okay and it is all it is perfect tense as it is perfect tense so that's why we have to use third form and ing form also but we cannot do at the same moment that's why we will add verbs third form instead of verbs third form what we will add been be's third form is been okay so has have plus been plus verb first form plus ing that is the formula of present perfect continuous tense so what it tells us the present perfect continuous tense tells us that something started in the past and continued till recently or is continued into the future yani ek aisa verb jo humne past mein start kiya hua tha aur wo abhi bhi hum continue kar rahe hain aur ho sakta hai maybe it will be continue in the future also okay that is present perfect continuous tense now there is a form the form that the present perfect continuous tense we use the verb has have as i have already told you in the present tense plus been been is the form of be okay and it is the third form of be so we'll apply over here been the ing form of the verb ing kyun use kiya because it is continuous tense 
okay so that is the formula i'm repeating again the formula has have plus b plus verb first form plus ing so read now let's talk about past continuous past perfect continuous tense as you know students we change pa in past perfect continuous has have will change into had okay and remaining a remaining formula will be the same so i had been walking for miles before i had the leg injury i gained weight because i had been over eating okay over eating sorry so here you can see had been walking there is only one change That changes यहाँ पर हमारे पास has have था and here we have had because this is past perfect continuous tense and for past tense we apply had okay had been walking ing form had been an ing form okay so these highlighted verbs on the previous page are past perfect continuous tense and the past perfect continuous tense tell us tells us that something started in the past and continued until another time in the past yani past se bhi pehle start ho gaya tha aur jo past ka jo time chal raha hai usme bhi chal ye work ho ho raha hai to form the past perfect continuous tense we use the verb had plus been plus verb first form plus ing okay Now next there is another sentence Mr Ganguly will have been teaching now student you yourself understood i think that will have will hum use karte hain kis mein future tense mein so will have been teaching english in the school for 15 years next october by the time the guests arrive we will have been waiting for 3 hours now here The future perfect continuous tense is used to indicate the length of time in the future for which an action continues. यानी हमें बताता है कि कब तक future में ये work कर चलने वाला है. To form the future perfect continuous tense, we use the will or shall plus have. Okay, don't use has over here. Okay, we'll only use have plus been plus verb first form plus ing form of the verb. Now the correct formula of it is will or shall plus have plus been plus verb first form plus ing. Okay. So here, here I hope these all formulas are clear to you all. Related, related to this, we have an exercise. Before doing exercise, I would like to tell you one thing. In every perfect continuous tense, we use since or for. Okay, since or for. So you have noticed that you have seen that here we have used for use. Why? Okay, for use has been used. Okay, and since we have used it before, maybe. ओके सिंस का यूज हुआ है प्रेजेंट टेंस में सिंस का यूज हुआ है यू कैन सी ओवर हियर सिंस ओके सो हियर वी यूज सिंस फॉर द पर्टिकुलर टाइम ओके एंड फॉर यूज हम करते हैं जहां पर हमें पर्टिकुलर टाइम नहीं मिला मिला होता ओके लिमिटेड टाइम होता है लाइक एन आर फॉर एन आर हमें नहीं पता है कौन से आर में वर्क हुआ है दैट्स व्हाई वी एडिट फॉर ओवर देयर एंड सिंस अप्रैल हमें पता चल गया पर्टिकुलर टाइम दे दिया इन्होंने सिंस अप्रैल अप्रैल से सो so यहां पर हम अप्लाई करेंगे सिंस मींस मैंने आपको दिया मैंने आपको बताया कि देयर इज अ टाइम आई हैव बीन वर्किंग फॉर 2 आवर्स ठीक है फॉर टू आवर्स बिकॉज मैंने आपको इंडिकेशन नहीं दी कौन से टू आवर्स से मैं वर्क कर रही हूँ दैट्स वाई आई एडेड ओवर दे आर फॉर टू आवर्स ओके एंड इफ आई टॉक अबाउट दे आर आई हैव बीन वर्किंग सिंस अप्रैल सिंस मंडे सो मैंने आपको इंडिकेशन दे दिया है टाइम बता दिया है पर्टिकुलर दैट्स वाई यू विल एड ओवर दे आर सिंस ओके नाउ लेट्स डू एक्सरसाइज बाय दिस टाइम नेक्स्ट ईयर आई डैश माई नोवर in 6 year so here right is your verb and future you have to you know fill it in future perfect continuous tense so for future perfect continuous we have the formula will plus have plus been okay plus ing form so this is very easy according to the formula we can apply over here i will have been writing right will become into writing and before write will apply have been okay and it is future that's why i'll apply will i will have been writing next is i dash an interesting book on nehru read and will change it into or will fill it into present perfect continuous for present tense we apply has or have and for i we apply have 
I have been reading. Read plus ing form. Reading. We dash playing a game all afternoon when we notice the cat missing. So here we have played the verb and we have to fill it into past perfect continuous tense. For past perfect tense, we applied had. And for past perfect, perfect continuous tense, we applied had been plus ing form. So here had been playing. We had been playing a game all afternoon when we notice the cat missing. Okay, student, their playing is already mentioned. So please don't try playing two times. Okay. Virain has been studying all day. Study and we have to change it into present perfect continuous tense. So has been. Virain is a singular form. That's why for the singular form we apply over here. Has. Has been studying. Nisha dash for more than an hour by the time I get there. So here we have given the verb which is wait and we have to fill it into future perfect continuous tense. For future perfect continuous tense we'll apply will have been an ing form. Will have been waiting. Okay that is the correct answer. Next is Bruce dash for 10 hours when the butler. Butler is a kind of servant. Finally came to wake him up. Yani, Bruce, uh, we have to change it into past perfect continuous tense and we have given the verb as sleep. Bruce had been sleeping for 10 hours when the butler, when the servant finally came to wake him up. So I hope students, you all have understood all the given verbs, all the given uh, tenses. Okay, what we have completed over here? perfect continuous tense. I hope this tense is clear to you all and uh, we'll be continue our next class with the new chapter. Till then, please learn all the kind of tenses, formulas. Okay, everyone. Take care of yourself. Bye-bye.